Hi friends, welcome to Sri Chaitanya. This is Uma Shankar, All India ID Coordinator. Welcome to season one of JE Max, that is Mains Advanced Extreme Series. In season one, series one of JE Max, we have we are concentrating the concepts, problems, short parts, and essay events and tests. Please don't forget to check the description. There I am providing very good question papers, essay events along this way. My friend, this is about uh, differential equations lesson number six. So far, we have completely completed five lessons in differential equations, and based on that, as I mentioned in the series, the beginning concepts, problems that we are focusing, and some of the shortcuts also we are focusing. And of course, this is about uh, lesson six, and uh, actually, in a differential differential equation is one of the useful topic and most important and easy topic and to score very good marks minimum. One to two questions are guaranteed in coming in two phases of mains examination in every uh, day. So almost you may get very good marks and you will score well also. If you are planning the and starting the problems or solving the problems, uh, where, uh, which kind of problems that I am uh, focusing here, even in your daily preparation also, if you are doing that kind of problems, you will get uh, very good the subjects so also and confidence also on differential equations. And of course, my friends, actually in differential equations of first order and first degree differential equation, these are the methods are there in your syllabus. Actually, methods of inspection, it is one of the most useful and very interesting method. Actually, uh, it is not there in on paper on in your syllabus. But uh, though it is not there on paper, but in examinations, so several times they have asked. Of course, it is uh, why they have not uh, put uh, the heading on paper because uh, it is it is one way in uh, the part and parcel of the variable separable method. That's the reason. So, if all methods are get exhausted, because uh, suppose if any differential equation is given for you, first we check uh, based on the conditions whether it is variable separable or not. If it is, uh, if it fails to satisfy the variable separable method terms and condition then we will go for uh, reducible to variable separable again if it fails again we will check whether it is homogeneous or non homogeneous if it is homogeneous we can go ahead otherwise we can check for non homogeneity or again we can check for uh, linear differential equation or it's a bernoulli differential equation if all five methods are exhausted then uh, if at that time we will concentrate on the methods of inspection before going to this method you need to focus on this particular formula. Here, d of x plus x plus or minus, that is dx plus or minus dy. That means whenever dx plus or minus dy is given for you, in the place of dx plus or minus dy, you can write it as d of x plus or minus y. Differentiation. Similarly, d of xy, ub formula, x into dy plus y into dx. Okay. <coughs> d of x by y, this is u by v formula, y dx minus x dy by y square. d of y by x, y dx minus uh, x dy minus y dx by x square. These are all the very familiar formula for you, well known formula for you. Only thing is whenever this kind of structures are given for you, you immediately you write uh, instead of uh, 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 y dx minus x dy by y square, you just write uh, d of x by y x by y or this d of y by x. Because sometimes they may give or they may ask the question like this y dx minus x dy by y square is equal to dx plus or minus dy. Suppose dx plus or dy. Suppose if they ask this question, solve this by taking all x terms at one side and dx y terms at another side and observing the coefficients of dx and dy, whether they are variable separable or something, something, something. Better immediately, okay, this is nothing but d of x by y and this is nothing but d of x plus y. Then what to do? Now integrate on both sides. You can get answer as x by y is equal to x plus y plus c. Immediately you can get it. So, with the several uh, combinations of any of the two equations, you may get, uh, you may create your own uh, different type of uh, differential equation problems. Actually, in uh, uh, 80s and 90, 90s, uh, in 80s and 90s also, in IIT examination, IITJ examination, several times questions were repeated. Uh, in a differential equations based on these methods of inspection. That's why it is one of the most easiest and important method. And coming to fifth one, d of x square by y, as just u by v model, y into 
differentiation of x square is 2x dx minus x square into differentiation of y is dy by y square. This sort. Similarly, d of y square by x. Similarly, d of y square by x square. You need to practice all these structures and familiar get to familiar with these notations. If you are if you are easily identifying the notions or notations, then solving the problem becomes nothing for you. In a single step, you can solve the problems. That's why I am giving almost all the very, very valuable information only here. That's why, as I mentioned in our series, there we are giving shortcuts, concepts, methods, and problems. Of that, this is one. And coming to ninth, d of tan inverse of x by y. That means whenever this is the structure is given for you, y dx minus x dy by x square plus y square, what to do? Divide both sides on both sides with uh, 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 what is called uh, with the y square. So automatically that becomes a tan inverse of x by y. What is d by dx of tan inverse x 1 by 1 plus x square? That, that's why here also 1 by 1 plus x square by y square into d of x by y. That means y square by x square plus y square into this is denominator into differentiation of numerator minus uh, nu uh, numerator into differentiation of denominator by y square. y square by x square cancelling. After simplification, you will get this one. So practicing this formula are it is not at all a difficult task for you. But the structures are very, very important. Please practice it. Ninth, d of tan inverse of y by x is equal to x dy minus y dx by x square plus y square. d of log x plus y is equal to dx plus dy by x plus y. d of log x y equal to y dx my plus x dy by x y and d of log x by y equal to y dx minus x dy by x y d of log y by x is equal to x dy minus y dx by x y and d of half log x square plus y square is equal to x dx plus y dy by x square plus y square these are very 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 important formulae and d of half log x plus y by x minus y is equal to x dy minus y dx by x square minus y square see so far in your hand how many formulae are there d of minus 1 by x y equal to x dy plus y dx by x square y square and d of root of x square plus y square is equal to x dx plus y dy by root of x square plus y square. d of e power x by y equal to y e power x dx minus e power x dy by y square. And d of e power y by x is equal to x e power y dy minus e power y dx by x square. And d of x power m y power n is equal to x power m minus 1 into y power n minus 1 m dy m y dx plus n x dy. If you are thorough with these 21 formulae and by permutations and combinations of these 21 formulae you can you can we can develop so many varieties of problems if you have identified the structure into the corresponding differential then the method is very simple only thing is integrate on both sides so method is what convert the differential equation into any combinations of the above differentials and integrate on both sides and add c at the end of the general solution clear see this is the problem if you are looking at the problem in general, one can waste time also. It's very difficult for them also. So what I am doing is, see, this is 1 plus xy, that means y dx, y, y dx plus x dy equal to x square y dy or what I am doing is, I am dividing on both sides with uh, x y whole square. If I am dividing on both sides with or x square y square. So this is y plus x y square by x square y square dx plus x minus x square y by x square y square dy equal to 0. After simplification, it becomes what? This is y dx now. So, 1 by x square y dx plus y square y square cancel 1 by x dx plus 1 by x y square dy minus 1 by y dy equal to 0. So this I can write it as which one 
1 by x square y this if i have taken 1 by x y common 1 by x y whole x x y whole square as common this i can write it as y dx okay y dx plus x dy plus dx by x minus dy by y equal to 0. This I can write it as this term, this is familiar for you, d of xy by xy whole square plus dx by x minus dy by y. So what I did, instead of applying any, if all the methods are failed, it is not a homogeneous, it is not a exact, it is not a linear, something like that. So I, have con I am applying now method of inspection. So I can uh, simply converted this into the any of the above formats. Now what I am doing is integrate on both sides. That means this is what different f dash x by f of x, 1 by x y f dash x by f of x minus 1 by x y plus log mod x minus log mod y equal to c. This becomes the answer. Very simple. Now coming to the next problem. Here x dy plus y dx by m into x dy minus y dx. What I am doing is uh, you just uh, div, uh, you can write this as actually <coughs> You, you, you can uh, you can write uh, you, you, or you do one thing or you divide on both sides with uh, uh, you write like this x dx plus y dy equal to you multiply 2m x square into x dy minus y dx by x square. This is nothing but d of and we multiply both sides on both sides with the 2. d of x square plus y square. This is nothing but d of 2, uh, 2 m x square into d of y by x. Because that already we have, we know what is the d of y by x. That already we know what is the d of y by x. See, here d of y by x is like. So here conveniently I have converted that unknown form by suitable algebraic manipulations into the known differential form. Okay, now the thing is what? Integrate on both sides. Integrate on both sides. This is a differentiation integration gets cancelled. x square plus y square equal to 2m x square into y by x and of plus c. You can get the answer. So writing the solution is very simple. Only thing is conversion. That conversion is very, very important. Only with the practice you can get the idea very easily. Just by looking into this problem, it is not at all possible. If you have concentrated solving problems of this kind several times, then only you will save the time and thereby you will get ideas also. This is an advantage. And of course, coming to this problem. See, actually all other methods are going to exhaust by, for solving this problem. So, for to solve this problem, ultimately you have to apply this method of inspection only. The hint is like this. Here what I am doing is, this becomes, numerator is x dx plus y dy by y dx minus x dy equal to x sin square of x square plus y square by y square. So this <coughs> conveniently we can write it as by observing the term x dx plus y dy. If I have multiplied with the 2 and this I can write it as a sin square of x square plus y square by denominator and 2, uh, sorry not 2, this is x x into y dx minus x dy by y cube. This again we can write it as, this is nothing but what d of x square plus y square 
by sin square of x square plus y square equal to this I can write it as uh, 2 into x by y into conveniently x dx y dx minus x dy by y square that is a 2 into x by y into d of x by y. So it is now a familiar model. Now integrate on both sides. So d of x square plus y square by sin square of x square plus y square equal to 2 into x by y into d of x by y. Now integrate on both sides. This is what? 1 by sin square means uh, cosecant square. Integration of cosecant square x means minus cot x. So minus cot of x square plus y square equal to this is what? This is uh, x by y whole square differentiation of uh, 2x dx. The x, two, integration of 2x is what? Uh, x square by 2. So this is x by y whole square plus c. So writing the answer is very easy for you. Only thing is convert the given structures into the corresponding differential notation and integrate on both sides. And it appears like what? d of something x square plus y square into sin square means sin square of that means so it is c cosecant square x dx type model. Integration of cosecant square x dx is what? Minus cot x. So minus cot of x square plus y square. This is in form of what? 2x dx. So what is integration 2x dx? x square. That is x by y whole square. So here the difficult part is uh, conversion is important. How to convert? That only with uh, experience and uh, exposing to several this kind of models that would done uh, only possible. Hope uh, you enjoyed this one. If you like this, you please share and subscribe and press the bell icon. So with the help of all these six uh, lessons of differential equations, we have completed successfully the differential equation part. Here through these six lessons, uh, what I am saying is, for each and every model, what kind of problem that they are asking in the JE main as well as in advanced examination that is important. So even for coming sessions also, you need to focus like that. Here I am giving the outlines only, but please do not neglect to solve the problems of this kind in your regular preparation also. And with the help of this information, you will get advantage of identifying which are the most useful problems for competitive examinations. Okay, my friends, wish you all the best. We will meet with uh, series 1 another lesson. So, thank you.